welcome you and thank you for joining us uh, for capturing PPC opportunities with Bing Ads. This is Justin Miller, search, search manager from the Bryan Marketing Group. Uh, and on this webinar, we're going to be going over um, our process for PPC management, as well as talking to Eric Dewar from Bing Ads, who's going to be giving us a little bit of insight on their platform and um, their capabilities, features, and benefits uh, for pay-per-click. So first off, I want to introduce you to DeBryan Marketing Group. We are a full-service uh, digital marketing agency. So what does that mean? Uh, in addition to pay-per-click, which is what we'll be talking about today, we also handle email marketing, SEO, uh, writing content and optimizing it uh, for your website, developing uh, websites, graphic design work, things of that nature. So anything that can be done digitally for your business, your website, email marketing, uh, that's what we'll handle and uh, make sure that it's all aligned and create a good user experience uh, for your business and your clientele. Uh, and our tagline is very important to us, that driven by strategy, proven by analytics. You'll see in our process that we're just going to go through in a minute how it really starts with that strategy and getting to know your business and making sure that you're, you're set up for a good run, setting that strong foundation, and then finishing with the, the analytical proof, what is working, what's not working, and what can we change to make things work better for you and grow your business. So with that said, um, we'll move into our PPC management process. As I mentioned, it all starts with strategy, creating that action plan to reach that target audience, that target market that you set up, and ultimately grow your business, um, whether that's lead gen or direct sales online, or even driving traffic at your physical location if you're um, a retail store with brick and mortar location. Once we have that action plan set up, the next phase is to implement it and actually put that plan into action. Uh, so writing solid ad copy, making sure that your landing pages um, are aligned, keyword relevant, and encourage the, the users that end up on that page, encourage them through that sales process or the lead generation process, uh, and making sure that all the best practices as far as um, testing, A-B testing, multivariate testing are all set up and running properly. The next step is to measure. Uh, if you don't measure and capture that data, you'll never find out what's working and what's not. Uh, so integrating that with an analytical program that will capture all that information as well as the, your key performing indicators and measuring that ROI. Once we have all that information, we'll begin to analyze it and put it into a report that's easy to understand. You can see what you're paying for, what you're getting, and ultimately what's working and what's not, uh, so that we can improve on what's working and change what's not working to continue that success and that growth. And you'll see um, this is actually a, a cyclical process. So once we analyze it, we go back and revisit that strategy and make the changes that need to be changed, and then implement those changes and continue through this process again and again and again. Uh, for continuous growth and improvement for your business. So the first thing, that strategy step, it's all, of, all about questions and getting to know your business, your product, your audience. Uh, essentially, when you have us manage your, your pay-per-click, we want to be your newest employee and really get to know your business, uh, what your brand image is, and make sure that shows through and is consistent throughout the ad copy, the landing page, and that user experience. Um, so what are your business goals and objectives, and then how can we accomplish them through pay-per-click advertising? Uh, and as you can see, there's a whole laundry list of questions that we'll ask you to help us work together to develop this strategy. The next one is platform selection. Um, this is really important because you want to make sure that wherever your ads are shown that they are reaching your target audience. Um, a big thing here, when we talk about platform, we're talking about um, whether it's, it's Bing Ads who we're talking about today or whether it's other search engines or um, display 
marketing where it's more of a, a visual ad across the internet on different websites. Um, so depending on what platform works best with your strategy, and again, the, the ultimate goal is to reach that target audience and the volume of the audience that you're looking for. You might be looking for um, more of a brand awareness type things where you want to reach a large volume of people and really get them to know your brand and your image, or you might be looking for a, a smaller niche market. And then the, one of the final things that we look at is cost versus return. We don't want to implement something that's going to have a high cost and then have very little return and benefit to you as a business owner. Uh, rather, we want to look for something that fits within your budget and is going to ultimately help you grow your business and show that ROI. And then once we have that platform selection, the next step is to that implementation process. The keyword selection, the ad copywriting, making sure it's relevant, uh, the landing page, that user experience, and as I mentioned, integrating that with analytics, making sure we're collecting that information, as well as capturing the, the conversion and that sales data, as well as calls. Um, a, a lot of businesses calling phone calls, driving phone calls is very important to them, um, but unfortunately a lot of businesses don't track where those calls are coming from. Um, so there's no way in knowing if different marketing tactics are working or not. Um, so it's definitely something that that needs to be set up so you know what is actually driving those phone calls and what marketing tactics and strategies are working. And then the final component there is that setting up the different A-B testing and making sure that you're continually staying on top of different search trends as they're changing, as well as staying relevant to your target audience and speaking to the features and benefits that, that are relevant to them and getting the click so it leads into your landing page and then from your landing page leads into that conversion or that sales process. With that said, we're going to hand things over to Eric Dewar. Uh, he is from Bing Ads, and he's going to speak to us a little bit about the Bing Ads platform and what they specifically have to offer as far as features and capabilities um, to help grow your business advertising on the Yahoo and Bing network. Thanks so much. This is uh, Eric over at Bing. Um, appreciate the opportunity to get a chance to chat with you folks a little bit here and talk to you a bit about what Bing as a channel offers and uh, you know how we might be able to fit into the marketing plans that you have. So, oops, just a moment here. Technical difficulties on our end. Okay, see if we can get that. There we go. So the question is, why Bing Ads? What makes Bing Ads so important uh, from a marketing perspective? And, and there are a number of reasons. Um, you know, people who advertise on our platform, they, they end up being very happy, and there are really three reasons. Number one is the audience. Our audience, um, with an ad buy through us, you're able to reach a significant and high value audience across Yahoo, Bing, and our partner sites. And when we think about the process that um, that DeBrian does here in terms of what they're trying to focus on, this really focuses on the strategy. Does our audience fit into the overarching strategy that they have for your particular um, execution? And the vast majority of the time, it really does when you think about who we reach. Um, we also have a highly relevant audience. And what I mean by that is that we've got um, an audience that's substantial and highly valued. We've got the right targeting capabilities to allow you to find the, really the exact audience that you're looking for. And we'll go through these different kind of targeting properties that are available across our network. This ties into the implement phase. Um, so when we're going through the strategy and we thought about what we want to do, now how are we going to do that? Targeting kind of really ties directly into that. Next. Um, we have a really solid performance. We deliver an excellent ROI for the vast majority of our advertisers. Again, we'll dig a bit deeper into this as to why we are effective from an ROI perspective, particularly against other properties in the marketplace. But when we start digging into that and DeBrian analyzes and measures these properties, uh, they take that 
the learnings that they've gotten from first the strategy piece and then the, the implementation piece. And with the performance, now that they've been able to analyze and measure the effectiveness um, or the areas of opportunity within this, we iterate. And through DeBrian Marketing's um, process, they're able to go back and realign with the strategy go back, tweak the implementation, and then again, analyze and measure and complete the cycle over and over again to really tune down to the proper execution that's going to give you the best possible return on your investment. We also have a strong technology and distribution partner network that helps us innovate and introduce Bing and the Yahoo network to more users than we've ever really done before. And it allows us to grow, us, uh, grow our audience. We've integrated across devices. So we've got a number of Microsoft devices, the phone. We've got um, Windows 8.1, so think of all the experiences there from touch-enabled devices to desktops and laptops. There's Xbox integration. Um, but we also have partners through syndication like the Apple iOS integration and Spotlight. So we power Siri, a good portion of this search comes through us. We also power Kindle Fire's search experiences. We have additional networks that we work with, Amazon.com, above and beyond just the Kindle experience, Wall Street Journal, uh, Facebook, it's a more nascent experience there now, but we've got local, DuckDuckGo, WebMD, um, the list just goes on and on. There are a number of partners we work with, and we're constantly bringing on new partners. So this is a sample list, but absolutely not comprehensive. When you think about the Yahoo Bing network searchers, uh, we have a, a very large audience. We have close to 30% market share within the U.S. and 149 million unique searchers, or 104 million unique searchers uh, in the U.S., 149 unique searchers worldwide, and 5.2 billion monthly searchers, uh, searches that we work with. Advertisers that don't leverage the Bing network miss nearly a third of the U.S. search marketplace. And uh, it's just, when you think about what that means from an opportunity cost standpoint, it's, it's significant. Um, we don't recommend that Bing be the only execution, but Bing is a critical execution from a marketing perspective to make sure that you're reaching all of the audience that's out there, and particularly the search audience. We have exclusive searches that just aren't reach or reached on Google as well. So when you think about some of the key verticals that are out there, automotive, business and finance, education, consumer goods, health, retail, you know, there are people that just search exclusively on the Yahoo Bing network. If you're only buying a Google buy, uh, you're just, you're missing out on millions and millions of searchers out there. Again, opportunity cost is lost. It's not just who the searchers are and how many they are, but we really need to dig into what they look like. When you think about the audience that we have, and you, uh, excuse me, um, the Yahoo Bing Search Network is really all about affluent and well-educated. You know, we've got the majority of our searchers uh, coming in at 75K or above in terms of total household income. The majority of them have also attended college. We skew slightly female, though that does kind of tie directly into the U.S. distribution. But one of the key metrics here that we have is the age. It's 35 plus. We don't go after the youth marketplace. We don't really have the youth marketplace. But when you're looking to reach an older audience, uh, 35 plus, we really are a must buy, 72% there. And then we also have an audience that just happens to spend more online than either the average internet audience or Google audience. Uh, buying power index is an indicator of how much someone spends online as opposed to do they spend online. And the Yahoo Bing network has people that spend substantially more than either the average internet or Google searchers. From a relevant standpoint, you really can dig into the audience that's most relevant to you. And one of the ways that you can do that is through targeting. Um, we built targeting capabilities so you can really hone in. And when you think about it, you can layer the targeting options so that you have the ability to reach the exact audience you're looking for. We can op target globally. You can reach people throughout the U.S. or any other country. You can drill down to the state, DMA, zip code or radius, or a combination of any of these to really make sure that you're reaching an audience and only the audience that's relevant to you. We also have intent targeting. And what I mean by that is if you're looking for 
searchers in a particular area or people who are interested in something in a very particular area, I think, say, rental cars. If someone types in rental cars in Dallas, Texas, um, you don't have to have that complete search query in place. If you just have rental cars and you're targeting Dallas, Texas, we can infer based on the query that you're using that, yes, this is a relevant search for someone within that given marketplace. Conversely, if you're only interested in people that reside in that specific targeted location, say a pizza delivery place um, where, you know, someone's got to be there for the pizza to be delivered, you may want to target exclusively to people within that location. But we give you the flexibility to think about how you want to get after those customers and which ones are relevant, people who may be visiting your area or have a need in your area or specifically people who reside in that specific area. We can reach customers across devices and also across experiences. So at home or at work, we can reach you through or reach searchers through their desktops or laptops. But if they're on the go, we have the ability to target down to mobile devices. Think tablets, think um, your smartphones and that sort of experience. Uh, of course, at home, you have the ability as well to reach people through Xbox, through certain executions. We also have the ability to reach customers at the right time for your business. So you have the ability to target in 15 minute increments. Say your, your storefront is only open for a certain period of time or your call center is only open for a certain period of time. Uh, you may not want to have any sort of chaff or expended waste. Um, also, days of the week, you have the ability to dictate which days of the week you would want your ads to execute against. And again, DeBrian would help set all of this up for you to make sure that it fits your overall business needs. And search at the end of the day really does deliver one of the best returns on your investment. When you look at the plethora of options that are available um, from an online marketing perspective, paid search time and again, uh, it, it just delivers one of the most effective channels in terms of ROI as shown here. But uh, you know, it's, it's kind of an iterative process and it's also a, a portion of what DeBrian can do for you. Yeah, I also wanted to chime in here quickly um, and speak not only to that pay-per-click section that, that has that good ROI and profitability to it, uh, that Bing ads can definitely help with as far as the platform, but then also the, the email marketing, the SEO, the content, and all the other social media and other digital aspects. Uh, as a full-service digital agency, we can also help contribute and manage those assets and those tactics as well and make sure that they are in line with each other and working in unisync with each other and really creating that great user experience, uh, not just with a pay-per-click ad and a landing page, but then also if the same person looks you up via social media or goes to your website and has that, that same content speaking to them. Um, so it's definitely something that you can uh, link together and unify and create a great user experience across the board. Yeah. So Perfect point right there. I mean, it really is, when you think about a digital buy or any media buy, it's not about a single channel, it's across multiple channels and multiple providers and how they all work together to execute and deliver the best possible return. So it's, we don't work in silos here uh, as an industry and certainly from an agency perspective, uh, DeBrian doesn't either. We also are a very cost effective way of reaching um, your audience. So when you look across the board here and you compare us with our, our largest competitor, Google AdWords, you will typically see a lower average cost per click. Um, and this is based on a AdGuru study that was run here. Um, you, you can see that in legal, you know, we're significantly less expensive. Shopping and classified, telecommunications, home and garden, education, it, it really doesn't matter what vertical you look at, we have lower effective CPCs. And all things being equal, lower average CPCs translate into better ROI for the vast majority of advertisers. And we can drive even better performance with specific ad formats that are in the market as well. So when you think about all the different options that DeBrian has um, to enhance the ad listings, it's not just about search anymore where you're answering a question, it's answering a question with enhanced experiences. So we've got location extensions, um, you know, help people find your business, the physical location of it, and get them in the store. Uh, call extensions, if your business is really tied around um, a call experience, uh, you know, we've got call extensions. Site link extensions, 
allow you to direct people to different places within your site that are relevant to them. And all of these extensions increase the overall click-through rate, driving more traffic and more relevant traffic to your site. And then product ads. Uh, product ads are an additional product that we have that is a little more enhanced than your typical search experience. And what I mean by that is you've got both an image and you've got a product description there. And our product ads are extremely effective in driving down lower average cost per click and they convert much better. So if you haven't explored product ads in general, uh, I would highly recommend thinking about that. And uh, you know our friends here at DeBrian can help you create a strategy that will work um, and drive more volume for you. So in sum, Bing Ads delivers to meet your business goals. We reach substantial and high value audiences. We can help you find the right audiences with our targeting toolkit and reach anywhere, global or local, and on any device. <coughs> Fine, pardon me. Finally, we deliver an effective ROI on our ad formats, and they can help you take your campaigns to the next level. All right, well, thank you, Eric, for um, just letting us know some of the capabilities and, and features that can be utilized via uh, the platform of Bing Ads um, to help really hammer home that, that strategy and that action plan and implement all of those things. And then um, with that said, we're jumping back into um, DMG's PPC process. Uh, the next step after the implementation and things are up and running is to collect all of that data and really measure what's going on. Um, so with that said, we'll move on and look at the, the measurement process. It's all about integrating that with an analytical platform that's going to collect all of this information for us and really not just the, the pay-per-click information such as the impressions of your ads, so how many times have they been shown, as well as how many times have they been clicked on and the cost information, but then also what activity is happening on the landing page. So someone saw your ad, they clicked on it, they got to your landing page. From there, did they view other pages on your website? Did they fill out a form uh, to become a lead and, and submit some of their information so that you can follow up with them? Or for an e-commerce, did they actually make a purchase on that website uh, through that visit or any following visits after? Um, coming to the website through a papers like ad. The next step is arranging that data so that it can be easily understood. So is it, as we mentioned before, the different tactics, is it email that's driving the final sale or even the first visit, getting those people to your website and then ultimately getting, you need to know what tactics are, are getting new visitors, what tactics are bringing people back to your website, and then ultimately what tactics are driving that final sale. Um, so it's important to arrange the data so that it, it can be easily understood. And then finally, that data visualization, uh, which ties in with the, the next step, the analyzing and reporting, um, being able to look at the data and understand the story that it's telling. Really focusing on those key performance indicators. Um, one of the ones that we like to focus on, that the micro conversions. Uh, it may be that you have a conversion funnel, and again, I'll use the e-commerce uh, as an example. So they get to your site, they see the product, they might look at similar products and do some comparison before actually selecting a process, or selecting a, a product, rather, and putting it into their shopping cart. And then from there, they go to the checkout process, and each, each one of those steps until the final transaction can be considered a micro-conversion and just guiding people through that whole process and getting them a step closer each time. Uh, one of the things, looking at it that way, one of the things that it will show is if there's any leaks or exit points inside that conversion funnel that we might be able to adjust or tweak in some way that keeps people into that funnel until they reach the final goal and ultimately you get that, that new lead or that new sale to grow your business. And then of course we always want to focus on the cost versus the return. Our ultimate goal is to help you grow your business. Uh, so again, we don't want to put in a, a tactic or a method that's going to be a high cost but a low return because ultimately that's going to hurt you and not help grow that business. And then the last thing on all of our reports are next, next steps 
and action items. Um, it's great to look at the data and see what it's telling you, but unless it's actionable, there's no way to grow. Uh, and some of the methods that we look at and some of the, the goals that we try to accomplish is lowering your overall cost and ultimately creating a larger margin uh, for your sale or your lead. Uh, and how can we generate more leads and more sales? And then finally, that return on ad spend or return on investment. Again, the, the goal is to help you grow your book of business through digital marketing. Uh, so with that said, we do have a special offer for those that joined us today on the, the webinar. Um, it does require uh, that you sign up with uh, PPC Management Services before or by June 12th. Uh, but with this offer, you'll get a free competitive analysis. Uh, if you don't currently have a PPC account up, up and running, uh, we'll kind of do a little bit of spying and see what your competitors are doing and um, how competitive that, that space is for you. If you are already up and running, we can do a performance audit and see what's working and what's not working um, with your current setup and see how we can adjust your strategy um, to improve on your current setup. And then, again, as I mentioned, the strategy. So, of course, a, a free strategy, because that really is the, the foundation that you need to be built upon. If you don't know what you're trying to accomplish, you're never going to get it done. Um, so strategy is key. That needs to be one of the first things that's set up. And then the, the last thing there, there are um, special agency relationship coupons that are offered. And Eric uh, from Bing Ads has offered a $100 credit uh, for anyone that is new to Bing Ads, uh, so a new advertiser on Bing Ads, or new to DeBry Marketing Group. Um, so, and when I say new to Bing Ads, it could be a new advertiser on Bing Ads or starting a new product on Bing Ads. Um, so one of, the, one of the examples of that would be like uh, the product ads that he mentioned before. Um, so even if you're currently on search but you're not on product ads, starting that uh, would be considered new. Um, so we'd be able to apply that $100 credit. Uh, I think the only limitation um, that's on the $100 credit from Bing Ads is uh, if there was a credit already applied to your account, uh, we can only have one coupon offer applied per account. Um, so if you've already received one, we're not able to add a new one. Uh, but if you haven't received one in the past, that offer is on the table. Uh, and as we mentioned, there are other platforms that are out there. Uh, and as an agency, we do have a relationship with other search engines and other platforms. Um, so once we have your strategy built, we'll be able to apply whatever coupons that you qualify that fit within your strategy um, in addition to the, the Bing Ads $100 coupon that's, that's being offered here today. All right, with that said, uh, here is DeBrian Marketing's contact information once again. Uh, so our phone number, 610-743-5602, uh, if you'd like to contact us. And then um, if you want to get in contact with someone in our sales department, sales at DeBrianMarketingGroup.com, or if you want to contact me directly. Uh, again, my name is Justin Miller. My email address is uh, jmiller at DeBrianMarketing.com.